Hey, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brandy Barr and I'm a first grade teacher in Washington State. Today's video is part two of my series on how to create an interactive Bitmoji classroom. Today, you're gonna to learn how to link your classroom to Google Classroom. You're going to learn how to create audio files to incorporate into your classroom. And you're going to learn how to remove the background from photos so that you can incorporate those into your interactive Bitmoji classroom. So let's get to it. Kind of sounded like Chuck Woolery, reminded me of Chuck Woolery from um, The Love Connection. And I, uh, I think I just aggressively dated myself with that reference. Anyway, here we go. So last week in our tutorial, we talked about how to get started creating your interactive Bitmoji classroom. I showed you how to incorporate your Bitmoji, how to find your couch, your bookshelf, different pictures that you wanted to put on there on the web and I also showed you how to link those to slides and to read alouds and YouTube videos so this week we're going to talk about how to link it to your Google Classroom and I'm going to show you how to create audio files with a website called Vocaroo that you can put into your um, Bitmoji Classroom if you remember from last week this is this one Click on this picture to be taken to the weekly assignment slide. Click on. And if it's in presentation, the present mode, it's not going to have that drop down. It's just going to go direct. It's just going to go ahead and play it directly. So, all right, let's talk about how I got this call out here. So to get a call out, you just go to shapes. You're going to go to call outs, and then you're going to pick the one that you want. You want to make sure that it's filled in white if you want to do it like this one and I made the outline of this one red and I made it thicker I put it at a four point thickness just to draw attention to it so that my students would know that that's where that I needed them to go first and I also used an extension that we're going to talk about in the next video to create this arrow to point to it all right so let's go to Vokaroo All right, and this is what it looks like. So you're just gonna hit this red button and then you're going to record what it is that you want to say and then download it. Hi, I'm your teacher, Mrs. Barr. Welcome to first grade. Okay, and then you can... Hi, I'm your teacher, Mrs. Barr. Welcome to first grade. Okay, so then we're gonna save it, download it. Okay, then it shows up right there. So now I'm going to drag that into my drive into audio files and it's uploading it and it's done. So now I'm going to go back to my Bitmoji classroom and I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go to add a link. No, I'm not going to go to add a link. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to go to insert and audio and this one right here. Select. Okay, and it's right there. So I'm just going to drag it over to where I want it to be. There we go. And so now we have the audio file incorporated into the Bitmoji Classroom. Hi, I'm your teacher, Mrs. Barr. All right, so I'm gonna close out of that so we have more room to work. Now I wanted to show you how I created the buttons for down here for the assignments page. 
I couldn't find any that I liked on the web, so I just made my own. And I used this square. And after I made my first one, I just copied it so that I would make sure they were all the same size because my OCD would have not allowed me to not make them all the same size. So then you're going to choose your fill color. And then you're going to add your text. And I made the text white on this one, I believe. And uh, my font. And the font that I'm using is not one that you would normally see in the Google Drive. It's from an extension. And I will show you next week how to use that too. So I had 29 as my font size on this one. That's why I clicked on that. So that's what I want to make this one also is 29. And I want it to be centered. There you go. That's how you do that. And Monday is connected to slide six. We already know how to do that. Now I'm going to show you how to link assignments in Google Classroom to your Bitmoji virtual classroom. So we have Monday here. And right here is where we're going to put our writing assignment. So we're going to need to insert a text box. And we can play with that a little bit and fix it and make it how we want. Okay. And now in that text box, we're going to go up here and we're going to hit insert link. I'm just going to write like a couple letters in there and you will see why in a little bit. Okay. So now we're going to go to our Google Classroom Okay, this is my Google Classroom that I made for this. Go to Classwork and Right here is the writing assignment. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to hit these three dots. Copy the link. I'm going to go back to the Bitmoji classroom. And then I'm going to do insert link. Insert link. And I'm going to paste that into there. And then right here I'm going to write writing assignment 9, 14, 2020 and then apply. Okay, I don't like the color of that. And then now I just have to fix my font so that it matches the rest. Center it. All right, there you go. So now when we're in present mode, it'll take, click on that, it'll take it right to that assignment. And then go back to the assignments homepage. All right, so I'm going to show you how I made that button to go back to the assignments homepage and how I made the buttons to go back to the um, main page. First, I made a white square because I wanted it to stand out because there's really nothing else on here that's white. And then I went to my Bitmoji and I typed in 
back to the classroom. And it came up with all of these emojis for me. So let's pick this one. Click it and drag it over. And then we'll size it down. Okay. And now we're going to add a link. Slides in this presentation. And first slide. And apply. And so for this one, I just did the same thing. I used my Bitmoji. I typed in back to assignments page. It created a Bitmoji for me. And then I did the um, transparent. I put the shape over it and then I made it transparent. And then I did the outline blue to make it stand out. So there you go. That's how you do it. So now I'm going to show you a little trick on how to get pictures in here without a background. How I have this cute little picture of my dog Curtis in here without a background. And this one I got from the web as well and it had a background on it and I had to remove the background. So what you're going to do, let me clean this up a little bit, is you're going to go to this website called Remove BG. Upload image. And this is what's going to come up. And I've already downloaded a file. I want to do another picture of Curtis. So I'm just going to drag and drop that over here. And then it's going to work its magic. And there's my little Curtis. Download that image. I'm going to go back to my Bitmoji classroom. And maybe I want Curtis to be over here on the Monday assignment page. I'm going to drag that image over to here. There we go. Now Curtis, in all of his adorableness, is ready to run through Monday. There we go. That's how you do it. Super easy. It seems like it's really gonna be difficult, but once you learn how to do it, it's all really pretty easy. And it's just a lot of repetitive, time-consuming work to get it done and get it up and running. But after you get it done and you get it going, it's just gonna be a matter of, you know, maybe you change out your read-alouds once a week maybe you change some of the pictures that you have in here a couple of them every now and then and add different youtube videos to them you'll have to change out your assignments of course but i mean you're gonna do that anyway so that's not a big deal and it's really once you get the hang of it and once you've done it a few times you're just going to be going through it super quick so I hope that you found this video helpful and I will be back next week with another video. And in that video, I'm going to tell you about all of the add-ons that I use to get these cool colors. And I'm going to tell you about some different Chrome extensions that I've downloaded that help me add cool little stickers and the um, emojis and things like that to my projects with my students. So thank you very much. Bye.